Hello and welcome back to Layers of Fear 2. And now we have fish in our bathroom. A house is built of walls and beams. A home is built of fears and dreams. Only one and two, but we should have new view. I think. Oh, it's here now. Oh. I think. I'm pretty sure I found more posters than this. Build the character. Look within. Context. Background. What brought me here? The present rooted in the past. What's past is prologue. What's stepped into the earth becomes fodder. A fuel for the flame. The lifeblood for the roots of existence. What's past is prologue. What's seeped into the earth becomes fodder. A fuel for the flame. The lifeblood for the roots of existence. The roots grow strong, become a foundation, but they can also bind, entangle, hold him in place, pull him under, away from the air, away from the light, to wither away, forever struggling, thinking of what could have been. Roots. He must cut them away. I have no idea what what's happened to the audio, and apparently this is the second to last of the chapters. Please don't close on me. Oh. Everything got so big suddenly. I'll be sending over a new reel tomorrow. Pirate film. Heard the youngs love it. Get this one a good spit. More screenings mean more arses in the seats. More reason for me to keep paying you. Okay. You little. Don't. Come, faithful servant. For tonight we brew. A ghoulish concoction, the world's strangest stew. 
Barley the cannoneer, he eats a lot, a whole lot, so he is round like a cannonball himself. This one time he almost shot himself out of a cannon. I don't see anything that could be added. Seasoned by sadness, burnt from within, ravaged by madness, rotten with sin. Will be perfect. Followed by longing, hardened by loss, once slick and polished, has lost all its gloss. Torn up by conflict, ravaged by war, flawed on the surface, warped to its core. Yes, I understood. Hmm. But it was clear we took someone, we took its food. So we got angry. Look at it bubble. Look at it shake. The beast! It's awake! Look, Jimmy, father's screening the Black Wanderer. Movie's almost over. Time to go. to do what they should take. Oh. Yeah. Apparently. Hmm? That was weird. I've been getting complaints of noises up in the balcony. People are scared and damn thing is gonna fall on their bloody head. I told you to keep it off limits. Damn thing can barely support its own weight. In recognition of your distinguished service in documenting the courageous struggle of His Majesty troops of the Western Front, as well as injuries sustained on the field of battle, the War Office has decided to award you with the Silver War Badge. 
You may wear it with pride, knowing that you have fulfilled your duty to king and country. The decoration ceremony will take place on the 5th of January. Sincerely, on behalf of the Chief of the Imperial General Staff. I told you to hide it. I told you to keep it safe. How could you let him take it? It's all we have left of her. You have to find it. You have to take it back. Find it. Bring it back. Wait, what? Find it. Bring it back. Find it! Bring it back! Find it! Bring it back! You are not helping. Find it! Bring it back! It is locked. Find it! Bring it back! Little scum. You were always bad luck. A blight upon this family. A blackened heart, uprooted by tragedy, skewered by pain. That's all you've ever given me? That's all you were ever good for? Delilah, the top man, top woman. She likes boys a lot. And girls too. She's very friendly. Maybe a bit too much. Get down here. Find it! Bring it back! Keep her close to your heart. Don't let her be forgotten. She gave everything for you. Prove that it was worth it. That you weren't a mistake. Thank you, sis. No good to anyone. It's like I was never there. 
It would have been better if I was never there. Let's go. Father will be leaving the projection room soon. Yourself, ye one eyed freak. I'll make ye wish ye had a spare. My hero. Oh, there's the basement. My beloved husband asked my prospects, the doctor remains cautiously optimistic. His concern is that the difficulties I had giving birth to Lily might now lead to certain complications. Still, he believes that I am more than able to bring another child into the world. And with you by my side, I believe so as well. I admit the pains have been getting stronger as of late, but I dare not complain. Compared to what you've been through, my suffering is barely worth mentioning. Yours forever. And that is where I'm gonna end today. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!